there, Board Game Maniacs, and thank you for joining me for another exciting episode. Well, I think they're exciting. An episode of Painting with the Maniac. And what we are going to do today is we are going to be painting the Rad Roaches from the Fallout Wasteland Warfare Expansion Pack Creatures Wasteland Berman. You can see right there. And it's by Modifius Entertainment. Awesome game. I'm really enjoying this game. I don't know exactly when this is going to be released during the month of Fallout Waste and Warfare. It may be before the gameplay or after the gameplay. But just be aware is that uh, these may not be in the gameplay because I could have possibly shot the, uh, the gameplay videos after I did this. But in either case, we are going to be painting the Rad Roaches in this game expansion box set. You can see I already painted a couple of them up. Uh, now, I did them in two different options, kind of like a, a dirt background that they're crawling on and then like the asphalt background that they're crawling on. Now for this one here, we are gonna be painting it with the uh, asphalt background because in the corb, in this expansion box that you actually get six rad roaches. So what I did is I split them up. I painted three of them this way and three of them that way. So the one we're painting is going to be the third and final one for this, this one here. So you can see here it's got some nice uh, radioacti radioactivity going on here. Very, very simple painting to do. No assembly for this. All you do is you clip it off of the sprue and, you know, you just start painting. So that's what we're going to do. So just hold on to your hat, grab your painting brush, and let's get to it. This will complete the, uh, the box set for this Wasteland Vermin. And before we get started, I'd just like to give a shout out to all the Patreon subscribers. If you want to become an official Board Game Maniac sponsor too as well, just head over to patreon.com, look up Board Game Maniacs, the link is in the description too as well, and you can become an official Board Game Maniac sponsor. On top of that, if you like this video and you want to see more, just make sure you click on the subscribe and the bell notification icon to get notified when other videos such as this is being released. And that is my spiel, and then we are going on and painting these rad roaches. You can see here I already based them out in white primer. Now, you don't have to base them out in white primer, you can do them in any color. You can see that is the, the color of the... Uh, the miniatures with the air is kind of like a gray color but the reason why I paint uh, basement white is because it is the only primer that I had at hand when I based them out so that's what we did no other reason it's very simple and my method of painting just to keep you up to speed on the way I paint is I don't paint to win awards or anything I just paint them get them done as quick as possible so that we can get them on the table and start using them the first color we are going to be putting on this is Citadel's Death Claw Brown, you can see right here. And we don't have to be specifically like very accurate and neat because once we paint the base, we're gonna be more accurate. So, you know, we're gonna brush the paint up against all of the little tentacles and everything else. So just be aware of that. And also too, as well as I'm using my wet palette, so again, I just diluted the paint just slightly. And we're just gonna start painting. Nothing too difficult here. So again, don't have to be so accurate with this Death Claw Brown starting off. I am using my fine detail brush. Just, you don't have to be super accurate for this, but you don't wanna get a little carried away and just totally go over and base them out because there are some very fine details that you could pass or miss by you know going a little bit crazy with the with the base layer right here so just be aware of that very easy to do death claw brown nothing special um, I hope you're enjoying this fallout waste and warfare month I've been getting a lot of emails requesting this game. It wasn't in the list for the 2020 update video, but just because it wasn't in the list for the 2020 don't mean that we're not gonna cover it. So just be aware of that and what video I'm talking about, if you're not sure about, just go back on Board Game Maniacs channel and look up the channel update 2020 video 
which I did in December 29th, I think it was released, of 2019. Check it out, and it has a list of games that, you know, I'm giving that I want your feedback on that what you what games such as what's on the list that you would like to see played onto a continuing uh, continuing every month like one or two games a month on top of the theme month which we already do a board game maniacs so just be aware of that go check it out look what games are there if you have any other games that you would like to see played just comment and let me know and if there's enough people that want it we will certainly do it and play the game constantly now that being said hopefully it's not going to be a game that i don't have or it's a very rare game that i can't find and pick up because that can make things a little difficult so you just you know look at the video comment let me know what you think and what game you would like to play I keep going off camera with this. I gotta try to keep on camera. Yeah, there we go. I've never played uh, using any creatures like rad roaches or mole rats or what have you for the game yet. So I would like your thoughts onto this. So again, you can either comment and let me know like, hey, I've used a rad roaches or I've used uh, mole rats any of the creatures that is out for this game it's so like they work best with this or i find them very difficult because of one reason or another or they're difficult in the game but they're really great to use like i don't know i, I want to hear from the experienced players out there because it's just it, it's nice to have that extra insight again uh i kind of was losing my train of thought here but I've been getting some emails asking about having this on the channel, so we are having it on the channel. And I've also been getting emails about, you know, continuing this on the channel. So this may be one of the games that we are going to be playing constantly on the channel. And if so, I'd be very happy because this game is awesome. I really like the mechanics in this. The miniatures are beautiful. You can get some nice looking tables, some nice scatter terrain for this. You can even build settlements, like, for a campaign mode, which I'm definitely going to be looking into, because I think that would be a really cool ongoing campaign, would be, like, the, the building settlement part, because what's better than being into an apocalyptic world with radioactivity and, you know, creatures that want to eat you and, you know, factions that want to kill you, and, yeah, so what's, what's not any better than that? Like, come on, jeez. You gotta survive. And that's what we are going to try to do. Uh, I've learned a game recently, and I'm still learning it. The, the rules aren't difficult. There's little things here and there that you gotta pick up on, but for the most part, very easy game to pick up. And it's very enjoyable. My son Brady and I, we've played it off camera a few times, and obviously on camera too as well, but I've always had fun doing this playing this game because it just it's well thought thought about game it, Modifius Entertainment has done such a great job in developing all the little, little parts of this game and another thing that I find which is pretty impressive about this is that if you go to the website Modifius.com or Modifius.net they have so many expansions for this and it looks like they are releasing more and more expansion. So it's not a game that's going to go away anytime soon. Because, number one, they keep releasing different expansions for it. Number two is there is a big following of this game. Like, I can't believe all the response that I'm getting for this game. As in, like, I want you to play this game. Can you play this game? Like... It's overwhelming. And then when you go on like uh, Facebook or YouTube, Instagram, it, like there's so many people that is praising this game. Like there, there definitely is a big following for this. And that's a good thing because you get the support in the community and you can help. You can get help from pretty much anywhere around the world with this game because it's played everywhere, which is really cool. And that just makes it 
makes me want to play the game more and more because I know that if I'm stuck with something, I don't have to go too far to try to find the find the answer. Like the rule book number one, obviously. But then if there's something else, then you know you can contact Modifius, Modifius themselves, or you can go into the community, which is everywhere, and just you can find your answers that you're looking for. When I say the community, I mean the community is, is so immense. I keep saying this, and I, I'm very flabbergasted at how immense this community is. This game has been picked up and played by many, 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 many people. And once I heard that Fallout was coming out and I seen one of the miniatures, I think I seen the Super Mutants, and I instantaneous was like, okay, I really want this game because it's going to be great to play. I didn't even think about playing the channel. I was just like, it'd be great to play. And I played it and it is great. Everybody has their own opinions. My opinion is that this game is awesome. So I'm just going to keep painting here. So, oh, I forgot one of the legs. See right there. Oh, well. When the ride road, she's got one of her legs ripped off. That's all. Yeah, it happens. Especially in the wasteland. In the war. Oh, yeah. So there we go. That is the base coat done on the roaches. Very easy. Uh, again, Deathclaw Brown. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave this dry for a minute. Well, we actually leave it dry completely because when we're putting... The other color around, we don't want this to mix in with the base color for the asphalt. So hold on to your hat when this is dry, we'll be back and we'll continue on with the painting. Now that we have all the base coat done of the Death Claw Brown, we're going to start and we're going to paint all of the base here, including the rocks. And we are using Mechanicus Standard Gray Citadel, again you can see right there. And I got this into my wet palette and it is diluted just slightly. So I got my little fine detail brush to do this. And the reason why is because I don't want to get any Mechanicus Standard Gray onto the legs of the rad roaches. So I kind of just work it along very carefully. Just like that. And you know, there's no special trick or anything that I'm doing here because it just, it, it's very basic. Now, you can speed this up a little bit faster by first using your little detail brush and getting in around the legs and everything. And then once that's done, you can just jump over to a bigger brush and paint the rest of it, which I'm going to be doing here. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to paint all of this. I'm not going to bore you by watching me paint all this. Once the Mechanicus Standard Gray is done, we'll be back with the next step. The next step that we do since all of the colors is dry that I want to put onto it before the highlighting and the radioactivity and so forth is we are going to be doing a, just a very simple quick wash. And that wash is going to be Agrax Earthshade. And all we're doing is we're just going to totally saturate the miniature. You can see here. Just like this. Pretty simple. And this is just to pick up all the little great details that are both on the rad roaches as well as onto the scenic base too as well. Speaking of the scenic base, that's one thing I want to do is you know, give a good shout out to the company Modifius Entertainment for the scenic basis. A lot of the miniature tabletop games, even board games that we play, uh, it comes with a little bit of assembly, which is perfectly fine. These miniatures for Rad Roaches have been assembled already, but some of them you do have to assemble, like, you know, the Super Mutants and so on. But, you know, the scenic bases, there's nothing that you really have to do to design or model a base for them to bring it into that kind of environment or the apocalyptic universe because it's already done for you and because of that it just makes things so much easier and you can work a lot faster because you know it's already done you have to paint it and you know add a little bit of details or highlighting to it and that's going to be it like 
Very, very easy. I really, really appreciate that. It's, been, it's so much easier. I love that when you have bases that are already done and you don't have to put sand down or gravel or twigs or grass or what have you, but you can still add that if you want, but it's not necessary because of all the great detail that is on this. And you know, that's great. So I'm gonna leave this wash dry and when we come back, it's gonna be dry and we're gonna add the highlighting and final touches and we'll be finished of the rad roaches. Now that the wash is all dry, again, Agrax Earth Shade is the wash that I used onto this. We are going to start just some basic highlighting and final details to it. And then that's going to be it. And one thing I'm not going to show on camera is the sealing part, which is done after all of it. But just remember, it's important to seal all of your miniatures after you do all of the paint work onto them so that they last and they will not, the paint will not rub off or chip or what have you. So to dry this, dry brush this, we are going to be using Jackaro Orange, and that is going to dry brush it only onto the roaches themselves, the rad roaches. And dry brushing is, is pretty much basically the same. You put some onto your brush, you wipe off the excess, so you have, only have a little bit on, and then you go and it, what, and you just kind of brush it on and the sole purpose of dry brushing is to bring out the details that are kind of above or, or lifted up higher that are raised from the rest of the image because you can see there this is all brought out as opposed to this one this is brighter so again we just keep dry brushing like this and like this and the amount of product I have on to my brush is very little obviously so we're just going to add a little bit more dry brushing to it, a little more product on my brush, wiping some of it off. Just like so. Pretty easy. Now these miniatures are great detail. You can see like all the little pore holes into the, into the wings. So it just, this is such a great job with these details on the miniature. All the miniatures are like this. Not the pearls on the wings, but all the miniatures into the Fallout Wasteland Warfare by Modifius Entertainment is greatly detailed. They did pay attention to the game. They did pay attention to all the details in, in the miniatures and into the, for the video game to reflect such. And that's great. So that's all the dry brushing for the rad roaches themselves, but they're not rad yet. We'll do that momentarily, but right now we are going to use our famous Longbeard Gray. It is another dry brush. Uh, the orange, the Jackaro orange was a base though. It wasn't a dry brush, but you can use any base or layer as dry brush font. This is actually specifically a dry so it, you can do it for dry brushing. I'm just cleaning up my brush as best as possible because I don't want any of the orange getting into my container of the Longbeard Gray. So you can see I have it on there. That's a lot, so I'm just gonna wipe off a bit. And what we're gonna dry brush on this now is going to be like just the rocks around the edging. Just like so, very easy. And it just makes that scenic base pop even more. And what I like to do too as well is even with the long beard gray, still on my brush, but it's not as much as I'm going to dry brush on top for the red roaches too as well, just again, make their detail pop even more. Just like that. So you can really see that this is all showing up. So that's pretty cool. I like the way that turned, but now we're gonna to have to turn them into rad roaches. And the way we do that is pretty simple. We're gonna use another paint that I've used in the past tutorials for it. I'll show you which one that is. I'm just moving paints it the way. 
and we're going to be using the Aztec Testers Fluorescent Green. Give this a good shake though. What's good about this paint is it's not opaque. It actually is very translucent. So just using a little bit would be good. So I'm just going to put it on my brush. Wipe off a lot of it. Then you can see here, just kind of give it a little bit of a, a glowiness. And again, I'm putting it around the miniature too as well because they are radioactive. They're going to have a little bit of a glow to them. So you got to kind of on the heads a bit here. Because they're very rad roachy like that. Very simple. A little bit more. More of a stronger concentration in the middle. And the reason why, because they're all clustered together and, you know, if they're ratty and they glow, be kind of glowing more where they're around. Oh, there you are, very disease. Blah, blah. Uh. Uh. Very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. The next step, we're going to be cheating a little. We're just going to add a little bit more detail to this. And we'll, the reason why I say we're going to be cheating a little bit is we are taking some super glue and a tuft of grass and we're going to put a little bit of super glue on the tuft of grass here just a little bit and we're going to glue some some grass down don't really matter where i'm just going to put it here i'm just using some tweezers here to help me get it done The reason why I say we're going to be cheating here a little bit is because it, it's radioactive. I don't really think that they would probably be any grass growing, you know, in this wasteland. Well, around here anyhow, but they could have just ventured into where the grass was trying to rejuvenate itself. But it, it failed miserably because of the rad roaches are eating it and they're radioactive. So I have a little bit of the fluorescent green too as well onto the brush and I'm just going to brush it on the tuft of grass here. So you can see it's kind of making it a little bit more vibrant in, in an area because it's becoming radioactive. Maybe it's just radioactive grass. Who knows? A little bit more heavier onto the rocks. a little bit dab, dab a little bit off of it just like that that's pretty much it now the last the final last step that we're going to do is we're just going to paint around the rim of the base and we're going to be using Abaddon black for that I lied we still have one more step before the rim and what we're doing is we're going to take some Vallejo game effect it's called vomit and we're going to apply that around here a little bit and then on top of that I mix a little bit of the green fluorescent into it and the reason why I'm doing this is because the vomit when it dries it still looks wet with the uh, the uh, I'm losing track here but with the fluorescent color of the of this here the Aztec when it dries it, it's bright but it don't look wet so I kind of want to give the wetness to it still so again for the radioactivity of it so again you can see the red the green is kind of mixed in with the vomit because the vomit is green anyhow but more of a fluorescent color and I'm just going to go in and just add a little bit more here and there to it not too much. So again, that's super, super bright, and that's perfectly fine if you want that. But what I like to do for the rad roaches that I painted before is I add that, and then I take a Q-tip, 
and then I'll just kind of dab it down just to tone it down a bit. I'm not taking the green off it, but I'm toning it down so it, it's not so much there. The green is there, but it's not such a, a big puddle. Now, I've tried other ways of doing this, of just, you know, putting the vomit on then the green, which does work. But I like doing it this way, just to add a little bit more variance to it, and it kind of pops out and shows a little more of the texture. So again, I'm just a little more of the roach hair, just like that. Very simple. And now we're going to do the base with Abaddon Black. I promise this time. Painting the rim of the base now with Abaddon Black. You can see right there. I don't have to wait until this dries because it is going to dry. But just the speed up time a bit again I'm just painting painting this hair so I'll be back after the rim is painted there we go the base is painted you can see it's all painted around it's still wet because I didn't leave a time to dry but that's okay because this is the end of this painting along with maniac episode I hope you enjoyed this painting the rad roach lots and lots of fun and this ends the, uh, the last miniature from the Wasteland Vermin box set expansion. Because you do get uh, six rad roaches and three mall rats. And as you've seen in previous video, is I painted the mall rat already. Mole rat already. Why am I not having... Uh, yeah, mole rat already. That's right, I said mall rat. He's not in the mall. He's a mole rat. So I painted them already. That is all finished. This is finished. And now, I don't know what's going to be next. This may be the last video that is being released for the theme month for Fallout Waste and Warfare by Modifius Entertainment. Who knows? It may be more. You're just going to have to look at our shooting calendar, which we do release on both our Instagram account as well as our Facebook page account too as well. And both of them are called Board Game Maniac. So you can check out there and you'll find out exactly what videos are being released and when they're being released for this theme month for Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed painting these. I love playing the game. The mechanics are phenomenal. Using the AI is so great because it's so unpredictable. You don't know what's gonna happen with the AI. I can't really say anything negative about this game because I just, I enjoy all of it. It's, it's a lot of fun and depending on how many votes are hit, or, or voted I should say, onto this Fallout Waste and Warfare, we'll be continuing on. We may even be doing like a settlement campaign or maybe even, which was recently released, a role playing game for this Fallout Waste and Warfare. That's right, it's a Fallout Waste and Warfare RPG game which I'm looking forward to. I got the box, not the box, the book for it, the main book. So we may potentially be doing that in the future. It's not going to be included into the theme month for Fallout Waste of Warfare, but look forward into the future. And if you played it already, please comment down below and let me know what you thought of it because I'd love to hear everybody's thoughts on it. And again, as some subscribers and viewers have been doing, they've been emailing us at boardgamemaniacs at gmail.com. So you can send that there too as well if you like. In either case, you can contact us in many ways. Give us your input. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button and the bell notification to get notified when other videos such as this are available to view for your entertainment purposes. Whew. All right. And don't forget, you can go to modifius.com or modifius.net and check out the Fallout Waste and Warfare products I have there for sale as well as like download all of the cards if you don't have all the cards everything that they have that they're very transparent as in okay this is the rule book you can download it if you want this is the unit card you can download them if you want it they're so open with everything and it's a great 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 thing to do because it, it's building the community up more and more especially for people if you don't have money at the time but you want to know how to play the game, you can download it and figure out how to play it. And then you can use your own miniatures until you go and you buy the miniatures, which are great detail off of their website. I can't say too much. I can't say enough positive things, I should say, 
about this game as well as Modifius Entertainment. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this painting line with the Maniac episode. And until next time, board game maniacs, you know what I'm going to say. And that is, be a maniac. See you next time. Boo! Hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs. Or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make board game maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, board game maniacs, be a maniac.